Pulse Motor Build-Off 2016. Cooperation through competition. Brought to you by rwgresearch.com, open-source-energy.org, and people like you. What are you doing, Jeremy? It's my hat. It's my hat. Hey, what's up, everybody? And who is this guy right here? This is Jeremy. Jeremy, welcome to this crazy split-screen video that we're doing right now. Pulse Motor Build-Off 2016. Yeah, man. We really got to help out Russ, uh, really support him, get it on this, really make this a community effort. And it's really exciting when that happens and we get together for it. So, yeah, why don't you tell us what it's all about? I have a lot of new subscribers and probably 10,000 of them since I did a Pulse Mortar build off and you guys are going to be like what the heck is this guy talking about? It's a competition, okay? It's an open source project where we get to explore what's possible when we work together. And it's a it's a competition, so it's cooperation through competition. It's a really unique idea of trying to force people to kind of compete but then they end up being friends afterwards and it's a fun adventure that we like doing so I've been following Russ for years and what the pulse motor is with the one time pulse motor build offs one time of the year where it gets together and you get to see everyone from the year before and everything so it becomes a big deal so. what is a pulse motor Jeremy well it's there it can be pretty much anything really as long as it's a motor and it runs off a pulse uh, the motor is could be anything that spins, anything that bounces, anything that moves back and forth. And then a pulse, I mean, uh, it could be electromagnetic, gas, all kinds of things, fluid. Uh, the imagination really is what kind of is what's going to drive you. I'm going to show you right now just a maybe 30 second clip of many different pulse motor entries from the past, so at least some of you guys who are new can actually briefly see what this is all about. So, let's take a look. The little spin off she goes. Quite bizarre. With no biasing magnet. Like I said, I'm still a beginner when it comes to basic electronics. Okay, mission accomplished. All right, let's spin it. Here's my entry video. This was supposed to be something different. Let's switch her on, crank her up. Fun. Ooh, can I have some coffee? The rules are pretty simple. If it pulses and it does something interesting, if it does work, then it can be entered. And the cool thing is, is you get an entire month to do this, and we really want you to use your resources. So if you can go down the yeah. street and find an old TV, right, Jeremy, and take it apart, there's yeah. magnet wire in there. Look behind, uh, look behind me, look behind Russ, you'll see the kind of places you're going to find the perfect parts for your pulse motor. They're not pretty, usually, but that's how we like them. So. Yeah, exactly. And the cool thing is, is if you're just getting into this, you have no idea what you're doing, there's such simple pulse motors you can build. There's an entire community of researchers doing pulse motors, and uh, open-source-energy.org is where all this is going to be hosted. And so you're going to want to go there. People are there to help you. If they, if you have a question, you can post a question on the thread and you can ask questions there. And They will help you through this. So it really, truly is an open source project. Prizes. Yes, there are prizes. This is a contest. So of course there's going to be prizes. So Jeremy, what the heck is the prizes all about? Well, the prizes are mostly going to come in the form of donations from, from you, the viewers, from the open source community. We've got a prize structure for the first, second, and third place, which will be chosen by the judges. Now, this is going to be in the form of cash. You're going to be from all over the world, so this is the best way for us to get a prize to you is in the form of a bank transfer, PayPal. Yeah, so the, the there will be a dedicated page for this contest. If you want to be a sponsor, we will post your information up on our website, and you can actually be a sponsor of the contest. This is pretty well how we've done it every year, and there's always been a pretty good cash flow, so we'd appreciate it if you'd come join the, the prize pool as well. So, mm -hmm. first, second, and third, Jeremy, that's it? No, no, that's not it. There's also a Viewer's Choice Award. 
who's always a favorite that doesn't make it into the top three. And we're going to figure out some way to get everyone to vote on what that, that favorite is, and they're going to receive something from Russ. That's exciting. So, Jeremy, um, donations, right? This is donation-based. So tell me what that's all about. Well, we're really hoping to get everyone involved and donate um, to a, a large pot, basically a communal pot, and that'll be divvied out between the first, second, and third. Now, depending on how much we get involved and how many of our friends we can get involved in the contest, this could turn out to be a pretty substantial amount. So, Jeremy, how much money are you going to put in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> no, all of the prize money will be given back to the community, so it'll be a of lot course. of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, there is one extra really interesting prize. Professor Stephen Jones is giving away a one ounce gold coin. Now, to, to actually get that gold coin, you're going to need to read really carefully in the rules and regulations. So that's pretty cool, Jeremy. That is pretty cool. And there's a lot of other information in that uh, in that write-up as well that you're going to want to get to. All right, so time frame. So how much time do these people get to build this contraption, Jeremy? Well, from the beginning of the when this video is published, which you have to check on the description, there's one month. And that ends May 29th. So there's a countdown timer. And when that countdown timer ends on May 29th, the contest is over, no more entries. And if you're having problems posting entries, make sure to get a hold of someone that's connected to the competition through an email or any way you can, post in a video description, and you can get someone to post your video for you. That's right, and I'll have a dedicated email address, and probably Jeremy will be the one responding to those emails, or I will, one of us will be. Uh, so definitely that is posted over there with the rules and regulations so please don't hesitate to contact somebody what if you have problems during your build and you're not finished by the end of the build time okay so if you are not finished or you just don't have the time you know grandma came over and destroyed your project or something like seriously it's okay you should enter no matter what does it all so, yeah. See, see, this is not this is not dog ate homework. This is Grandma Smash Project. It seriously happens. <laughs> All right. So the last thing to talk about is your video. So Jeremy, please explain what people are supposed to do to enter the contest in a little bit more detail. A three-minute video, your entry is limited to three minutes only. Just brevity is nice. That's about it. That's all the criteria your video has. It should include as much detail about your boater as possible with, you know, measurements and that kind of stuff if you can. Otherwise, it's up to you. Anyone can join. Anybody all over the world is allowed to join. I really hope you guys enter. I hope you guys share this video because it's important for the community to be involved. So Jeremy is volunteering his time, I am volunteering my time, and there's other people in the background volunteering a lot of their time. So we want you to volunteer entering the contest, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. And the more people you get together, the more people you get involved in the contest, the more people we get involved in putting prize money together and making it even more interesting for people to win. That's right. That's right. So it is time. Go now, my friends. Have fun. Pulse Motors. Yes. Pulse Motor build off. 2016. Russ out. Bye, Jeremy. Cheers. I just, I just ordered some IGBTs. You just you, so while you were making this video, you just ordered IGBTs. Come on, You're supposed no, to be I focusing. Just, I waited until it was done, and uh, then I hit send. Yeah. See. Yeah. Okay, it was. It was sitting right. behind there. And then when it was done, I rewarded myself by saying, <laughs> okay, now I can order these. See? Okay. So everyone else can order their stuff too right now, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so hurry up. It's time to go. <laughs> oh, what fun. Pulse Motor Build-Off 2016. Cooperation through competition. Brought to you by rwgresearch.com, open-source-energy.org, and people like you.